Hello children hope finds you all in the best of your health and safety English grammar chapter number 3 nouns i hope you all must have understood what are nouns and what are the different types of nouns with the help of the video shared previously so today we are going to discuss the exercises given in our book so let's start on page number 22 we have the question as rewrite each sentence by using a noun in place of each picture here we can see in the a part we have the picture of a dog as well as of a girl so we'll rewrite the sentence as the dog barked at a girl now b part i ate an apple next c part This is the picture of a fire. So we'll write it as the fire was burning inside the building. D part. I hope you all can recognize this picture. This is the picture of our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. So we'll write Mahatma Gandhi was a great leader. I hope this must be clear to you all. Now let's move ahead on page number 24 where the question says write the type of noun children we have learned that there are five types of nouns proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun so now out of these five we have to choose any one according to the noun which is given here in the question a part table is a common noun glass glass is a material noun indira gandhi as it's the name of a particular person so it will be a proper noun bunch is a collective noun and feelings are abstract noun because we cannot see our feelings we cannot touch our feelings that's why they are the abstract nouns i hope this must be clear to you all now page number 25 here the question says fill with proper noun proper noun is a name of a particular person place or thing which cannot be anyone else so let's start dash is the father of the nation that's mahatma gandhi b india gate is in delhi c paris is the capital of France dash is the best comic character Charlie Chaplin E dash is also known as master blaster Sachin Tendulkar Now children you must have observed that in every blank i have written the word with capital letter whether it is in the beginning or it is in the middle or at the end I have always used the capital letter to write the proper noun and this is the reason we always say that they are the particular or the specific names so we write them with the capital letters I hope this must be clear to you all so let's move ahead Question number 2 here says find and write five common nouns from the picture we all can see that there here we have a picture of a family picnic so we can see that there's food woman is there mat is there which is spread on the grass a basket is there and men are also sitting there so we have found five common nouns food woman mat basket and men let's move ahead question number 3 circle the collective nouns collective nouns a name which is given to a collection a group so let's start a part have you seen a flock of sheep so flock will be the collective noun robin hood lived with his band of outlaws band a group of outlaws the committee of the club elected him president committee group of members of the club d part the farmer returned home with his herd of cows a group of cows is called herd 
so it's a collective noun e part the regiments of soldiers were ordered to go forward at once regiments i hope this must be clear to you all let's move ahead question number 4 form abstract nouns abstract nouns the name which is given to our feeling which we cannot touch neither we can see so we can only feel so let's see a part great greatness happy happiness friend friendship deep depth real reality dark darkness let's move ahead question number 5 fill in the blanks with the opposites of the given nouns strength my mama is my strength and the opposite of it is weakness poverty richness creation destruction abundance scarcity truth falsity now question number 6 on page number 26 says make a list of five things around you and the materials they are made up of so everyone just look around and just see at the top what do we have we have a fan which is made up of iron we have bed which is made up of wood we have a book which is made up of paper we have shirt which is made up of cotton we also have water bottle around us which is made up of either plastic also you can write or you can write steel also i hope all these exercises must be clear to you all so your home assignment is complete all the exercises of chapter 3 in the grammar book thank you